Assalamu alaikum. Previously, we have talked about uh, the, all the basic databases in bioinformatics related to sequence, structure, and function, and the specialized databases. Now, let's move to the concepts of biology and how we can solve those biological questions using bioinformatics. The first topic we will discuss is sequence uh, analysis. And uh, let's start that why sequence analysis is important because there is one thing which is which may you have come across you that the sequence conservation. The sequence conservation between the different species is of biological or functional importance. For example, here you see there is an example on the left side that is one protein YDR374C and this is compared between different species of S. This S actually represents Saccharomyces, so uh, Cervicea, you know this is G, so these are the Saccharomyces species and this the protein sequence protein uh, uh, this protein is compared between these four species and you can find some sites like these uh, these are conserved between all the species however there are some sites like these which are not conserved so it means that there are sites which are conserved and there are sites which are not conserved so what does the conservation imply or what does that mean actually the sites which are conserved in evolution are of some biological importance and there are sites uh, which are also not conserved or totally variable sites between the species between the uh, species in of one gene so it means that nature uh, favors changes in these regions but nature does not favor changes in these regions so it means that these sites which are totally conserved may have some structural or functional importance maybe there will be some binding sites functional sites active sites in this region however there is no specific site in this region so if there is a change in a sequence if we compare these two, two sites and if there's a change in this region and there's a change in this region there will be totally different effects here the change will be very drastic because it will disrupt the binding or functional site however in this region there is no specific functional site and this is of variable uh, this contained with the variable region so it will not affect the overall function or structure of the protein so that's why sequence conservation is very so now after ta talking about the uh, sequence conservation let's talk about some uh, thing about the proteins that proteins are the group are grouped according to the sequence and structural similarities so uh, you have talked uh, listened to uh, the names of the uh, proteins and genes and uh, you may also have came across the word of protein family protein domains protein superfamilies these are uh, basically if you if we talk about uh, them separately that proteins are uh, families are of which are family contains the all the proteins which are of structure and sequence similarities domains have a structure and function unit i will talk about that in the next slide and superfamilies have structural similarity but no sequence similarity and and uh, and the sequence analysis helps to predict the new function of newly identified protein sequence it means that if we have a new sequence we have sequenced any uh, protein sequence or gene sequence and we want to find the function of that protein so for that we compare the sequence with the database which contains the information of all the families domains and superfamilies to predict the function of the newly identified protein so that's why sequence analysis is also important so what actually uh, protein families if we summarize it protein families have common evolutionary origin it means that they all belong to the same one ancestor then they have the related functions that all of them have not identical functions. if the functions are identical then uh, what is the purpose of having multiple genes just like if uh, in a organization if we talk that there is a finance manager and but and suddenly the company comes up with two finance managers so what is the purpose of two finance managers at the same time it means one is redundant so related function uh, you can say but not identical they have related functions similarities at sequence and structural level protein family has a corresponding gene family and each gene encodes a corresponding protein here the example i have showed is of collagen family here you can see that there are so many collagen genes or proteins which are present in a individual or cell and uh, all of them are collagens 
they have structural and sequence similarity and they are related to each other and uh, but they have no uh, don't have identical functions they have related functions so that is the definition of then domain actually a domain uh, is actually the part of a protein and this is this is the distinct functional or structural unit of a protein here the example is shown of a more, uh, domain of collagen helix that is part of the uh, domain of the collagen genes and responsible for a particular function or interaction contributing to the overall role of a protein so basically the function or structure of a protein is defined by its domain which is a large part of consisting of the structural unit which has some specific function and obviously the genes which have structural function importance are func evolutionarily conserved that nature does not support change in that part if there is any mutation then the, the, that cell or that organism or is discarded from the by the nature so that this uh, that mutation does not move further into the family one more uh, type of uh, proteins are you can say protein super families super families are actually contains multiple protein families and the group of proteins that share a common evolutionary origin but they do not show sequence similarity but at the structural level there is some i have already discussed that at the structural level uh, they have uh, at some points like the binding sites or the active sites they have uh, similarities but overall uh, sequence alignment is not good that's why at the structural level they find some alignment because there uh, that the structural part of the motif for the binding site is aligned so uh, the difference between protein superfamily and family is that it does not have good sequence uh, have sequence similarity but some structural similarity and similarities that both are belong to a common ancestor one example is proteases that uh, there are uh, proteases are actually the proteins which degrade the proteins and uh, there are uh, multiple type of proteases multiple families of prote uh, pro proteases like caspases ubiquitinases and so on so what is the objective of sequence comparison as we have talked to him the, about the sequence conservation protein conservation the variable sites so uh, you know that uh, when we have uh, so if we find a if we sequence a new protein sequence or a new gene sequence now we want to look for the its relatives means we want to find the family which family this gene sequence belongs to which we have or what is the function of this protein or the structure of the protein and this is the most commonly done in bioinformatics exercise in in uh, you can say in uh, in bioinformatics so start and uh, uh, with the, that what we must uh, be forced uh, before going into the further detail what we must keep in mind is that the gene and protein sequences do not remain same over billions of years this is very important because you should, as i did, talked about the mutations that uh, during the course of evolution for example if you are talking about the uh, from fishes to human if we uh, from uh, our ancestors to the uh, to the descendants if we talk that uh, with time the there are sites where there there uh, are there are a lot of changes which occur during the course of evolution and nature supports some changes and discards some changes as we discussed in the previous slide and the other thing is that they are that they are subject to mutations substitutions insertions deletions and other evolutionary processes so there is a slight difference between mutation and substitution is that mutation in evolution if we talk about specifically about evolution is that mutation is the sudden change which uh, is not present in the population and it 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 uh, causes some uh, disease in the in the in, in the individu individual but a substitution is actually the during the course of evolution if there is a change which occurred in a in in some species which is present in that species and the species acts normal but uh, it is not present in the uh, in the in the in, in its ancestor for example there is some change which is present in the human genome and we all are acting normal but that is not present in chimpanzees so if we talk about that particular change we will say that this site has been substituted when that evolved from chimpanzee to human right so let's start with an example here 
that uh, here's a sample ex example that let's compare insulin gene sequence from four different species if we say that there is one species named human other is mouse pig and horse right so what do you infer from these sequences what do you think that this what these sequences look like yeah just think because uh, here if you see that uh, all these sites have the same uh, protein or nucleotide this is just an example but here you can see that all of them are same so you can say this is identical and uh, these are identical they have same length they if they have the same length it means they uh, and they are identical they have a same function and also they have originated from a common ancestor because obviously if the, all of them are same so that that has come from some you know, we can say ancestral species and they are evolutionary related so this is what you can say and now if we see what is the you uh, if you can find any difference between the previous and this one just look at the uh, the four sequences compared between the four species here you can what you can see here you can see that there is some uh, they are again of identical length right they are also very similar but there is one site this one which is probably changed in uh, their descendant mouse or human or maybe they, they are specifically changed in human what do you think that again almost identical same length originated from a common ancestor but there's a single mutation substitution of a into t at position yeah. one in horse right so we can say that there is a mutation in or substitution in horse compared to the species so this way we can find the identical or sites or different sites and what are the mutations of this now this is one more example here you can see that what do you think that uh, are these sequences similar no they are not similar but do you find any similarity yes we find similarity there there is a lot of similarity the number of uh, sequences are uh, number total number is not big like for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 nucleotide or minus acid long uh, sequence but you can find identical site this one and you can also find some similarity at this region like t and c are totally identical but there is one change at this site but one thing which is changed here is that this x means that there is nothing here so you can say that at this particular site there is a deletion of um, uh, proteins or there is uh, insertion at this what do you think is more uh, reasonable because uh, okay let's see that they are highly similar yes do not have same length addition of three nucleotides in human insulin or deletion in all other species and then single substitution of a into c at in pig genome here this one so what do you think that this is a addition in human or this is a deletion in the rest of the species uh, yes if uh, i suggest you that the because the humans are the descendant of a horse pig and mouse so we can say we, this is not much information only four species we need to have more information from human and others uh, more sequences for human, human and more sequences for horse and other species but based on this observation we can say that actually there is an insertion at the human time point because most of the species have no sequence at this site so now i think you can uh, see that how you can interpret the information which is being shared with you so what we understand till now right so sequence comparison enables us to predict with confidence how genes proteins have evolved over time in different species and also we can state hypothesis about the evolution of many proteins like mutations and substitution just we talked about the mutation why whether there is a substitution in horse or there's a, a change in the rest of the species and insertions and deletions 
that whether there is a deletion in all the species or there is insertion in human and also duplications. Uh, we haven't got through that, but duplications mean that if the sequence is repeated again and again in one species, so and we compare it with the other species and we can find that this site is duplicated because this is site is not present in other species. So these are things which we can find and uh, this one interesting thing because we are living in a pandemic time that just imagine that working with COVID-19 viral proteins and identifying how they change to escape our defenses. Like you know that there are three types of viruses, SARS viruses, MERS virus, SARS uh, COVID-1 and now SARS COVID-2. Why those are not affecting us and this one is affecting us or uh, there is a why they we can target some viruses but we cannot target this that uh, can be solved using the sequence analysis that we can find after comparing the two sequences we can find those sites which are uh, unique to COVID-19 virus and we can further investigate that site that why they it is changed from their ancestors and come up with a solution to target these viruses which cannot if further affect our immune system and uh, escape our defenses. And for that, you have access to all the data and tools required to perform this. Like uh, there are all, have all the information is available in databases, just I shared with you the NCBI database and other databases of uh, DNA and proteins. And you can find the information of the COVID-19 uh, genome and you can compare that with the rest of the viruses and you can come up with the Answer, uh, answer that what are the different sites in COVID-19 which are not uh, which are not present in other viral species and then we can move on with that. So we will do these exercises in our lab hopefully they will start very soon. So in the next part we will come up with the more detail and uh, more concepts of uh, sequence analysis. Uh, stay in touch and uh, keep uh, watching these lectures and we will discuss them in our discussion section. Assalamu alaikum.